sofa6.co.uk. Sponsors of The Haze Hour. And here we are, we're here. Here. It's yeah. Thursday, it's nine o'clock, and it's Crackerjack. No, that's not right either, is it? Crackerjack. It's not Crackerjack. Um, tonight, tonight's a special night. Takes you back a bit, doesn't it? But it takes, oh, hey, I'm living in my past now, it stands, you know. Ah. Oh. Just about in nappies again. Right. Hadn't realised that. Ah, uh, it's, it's, it's a thing to do with age, isn't it? Plus the fact I've seen the pampering that little, oh, little Michael gets. Yes. With the, you know, the baby powder and the baby wipes and oh, right. all that. Like, you look at that and you think, I could do with a bit of that, like. <laughs> ah. Why not? Why not? You might as well. Anyway, hello. Yes, good evening. Good evening, everybody, ladies, gentlemen, and, and, and those who are not quite sure. It's uh, it's nice to be here with you again, isn't it? It is. We've got Pleasure. a pack. It's a packed short night. Is it? It's packed, absolutely packed, to the gunnels with two world firsts. Well, a world first and a world second. All right. Oh, it's spectacular, it is. Well, you see, you never briefed me beforehand. So oh, well, let's not talk about The element briefs. of surprise. Oh, we like that. We do like a bit of the element mm. of surprise. But, um, but there's a piece, there's a piece, there is a piece going in tonight that we was not expecting, which will come after the titles, because I'm going to remember the titles this week, because <laughs> Sav's just sit there, down here, she's in here, Sav's in there, and she's gone. Titles. And yourself. They, I see. I've got my producer gesticulating. Pardon? She's not. She was moving her hands fast. <laughs> <laughs> not gesticulating at all. Uh, so, so tonight we shall. Yes, it was Fridays at five. Fuzzy on Crackerjack was. Yes, with. Um, it wasn't. Uh huh. Fridays. Fridays. It's Friday. Mm-hmm. It's five to five, and it's Crackerjack. That's what they used to say, and then load you down with with you know fruit and vegetables. I don't remember that. Really. Too young? I must have been. <laughs> or am. Yeah, something along those lines. I'll yes. believe anything once. Right, look, I'll tell you what we're going to do. Just to give a quick run, quick rundown, very, very quick rundown. There is a Booty DNA 40. I've got one. First one out of China. Been playing with it. And this is the world first. It has been recorded in 4K. For those of you that are of a technical bent, that means four times the resolution of a 1080p screen. And at 10 o'clock, it'll be released on YouTube. The world's first e-cig review on YouTube in 4K. We're pretty sure I've searched mm. exhaustively this afternoon and not seen another one, so unless anybody manages to get one up between now and 10 o'clock, and you can it, that'll be a world first, followed by a look at the Kanga Subtank Nano, also in 4K, also on YouTube. So whichever one you watch first, that'll be the world first. They're released at 10 o'clock. We're going to be having a look at what went on in the House of Lords, but there's, I think, a good piece of news that's come out of California today, and uh, we'll be looking at that immediately after the titles, which are coming up, if I can find them, right now. So hello. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. And welcome to the The Hazel.
So, right, there you go. As it said on the titles, live and unrehearsed. And how unrehearsed it is, and let me let me tell you why. I'm going to go closer up here on myself. I'm about to read out loud. And this is the good news, I think. <coughs> this is great news, I think, from California. And, and it might not seem like it to start with, but it says here, it says, CEH, the non-profit health watchdog centre for environmental health today is initiating legal action against 19 companies that sell e-cigarettes and or liquids without consumer warnings as is required under California law. That's what it says here. E-cigarettes are marketed as a harmless vaping alternative to tobacco and to regulated smoking cessation products. But the CEH action notes that that unregulated vaping pr products I'll start that again, I'm sorry. But the CEH action notes that unregulated vaping products expose users to nicotine, a chemical known to pose serious reproductive health hazards, and thus must carry warnings under the state's Prop 65 Consumer Protection Law. Now, I've not, I've, I honestly, I've got no idea where they've got that from. I'm pretty sure nicotine doesn't actually carry serious reproductive health hazards. What are reproductive health hazards? I, I think it means that your, um, your little swimmers don't swim very well or you don't produce as many little swimmers for us gentlemen. I've got no I idea. Wonder, I wondered that. But it, that's, it's, it's a that's bit, news uh... to me. It is news to me. Um, now, th this has come from Stefan Didak. 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 Um, for th thank you for that, Stefan. Uh, and it, there's a whole load more bullshit in there. A whole load more bullshit. But then, right at the bottom... It says, in bringing legal action, CEH expects to pressure the e-cig industry to conform to legal requirements for labelling and create mandatory product safety standards. CEH also aims to pressure the companies to stop marketing practices that target children and teens. A previous CEH lawsuit ended illegal... Well, this is actually irrelevant because it's about tobacco advertising. It's got nothing to do with e-cigs. Now then, here's why I think it's good news. We're going to get a day in court. That's what's going to happen. And it's going to be more than a day because the 19 companies, and this is a shopping list. These are people that you might want to buy for. The 19 companies, e-liquids, there's Ballistic Vape Inc., there's Steam Distribution, there's Beard Vape Co. And apparently, Beard Vape Co. is doing one of Sav's favourite juices at the minute. I've got a shopping for Beard Vape 69. Don't ask why. It's my favourite number. Body Rock Products. The Daily Vapes, Exquisite E-Liquid, Five Pawns, Joy Tech, one of the co the most coined up e companies in the world, Joy Tech, shed loads of money, Limitless Trade & Co, Nico Pure Labs, Tenacious 7 Vapor, Throttle Vapor, USVC Inc, The Vape Kitchen and Vapor All, they're all the ones that they've got for E-Liquids and they've named individual liquids on each one, which is even better. Um, and then for e-cigarettes and or vaping kits, they've named PhD Marketing, who do the Exhale XMC Vapor Pen in green. In green. It's important it's in green. Um, s and Distributor, who do the Tsunami disposable e-cigarette, but they're not saying what colour that's in. Smoke Talks, who do the Green Man CE Series Vaporizer, and Vapor Exotica, that do the Exotica Vapor Pen. Now then, 19 companies, all flogging e-cigs all making money and they can all pull together and hire the very very best lawyers and get the very very best advocates and scientists across there and the truth can be told in court <coughs> in america in california and we can win this one and if we win this one that's the kingpin down. California goes, everybody else goes with it. I think it's great news. Finally, we're going to get to court. Do you not think that's good, Keith? Well, knowing how long and protracted the American legal system is, you know, probably be seeing that in five years' time. Well... But that's me. That's fine, as long as it gets into court, because it'll be reported from court and all of the testimony from all of the experts... The, the, the known experts, the proper experts, is going to get out there into the public domain where everybody can see it. I think this is fabulous. You know, it's I know you fabulous. can argue that nicotine products is perhaps a special case, but I mean, how many things do you buy 
where there's warnings on the box or the packet or whatever that you need a magnifying glass to read. Well, I mean, this this um, this whole thing that they've got going over there in in Canada, uh, in America, is in, in California, specifically in California, is just stupid. Um, I've heard tell, and I've got no first-hand hand experience of this, but if there's an advert comes up for something that might have a little bit of a risk to it on the telly, you get like 10 <coughs> seconds of adverts and 45 seconds of disclaimer. Warning, may turn your hair grey, may make your willy shrink, may make your nose run, may make your feet turn purple, may make your fingernails drop off, may make your nipples go inverted, may make this happen, may make that happen, may make the other happen. Do not give to children, keep on a high shelf, make sure the bottle's closed, don't put it in the refrigerator, store under the... It's yeah. just ridiculous. It's craziness. It's absolute bloody madness. And the fact that they've brought this action, I think, is fabulous. I think it's great, it's going to get everything into court. Please, 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 all of those 19 companies that have been noted and, and mentioned, pull it together, pool it together, get together as one big outfit, pool all of your resources mm. and take the buggers on and beat the living daylights out of them. You can do it because we are in the right and so are you. What say you? Yes, I must admit at first I haven't seen it that way, but you're right, yes. I love it. Did the Gorney get Glance on the stand? Right. Glance is gonna get on the stand. I want to be sat beside the attorney, the attorney on the A6 side, saying, "Ask him this, tell him that, tell him that, tell him the other." Has get he never been challenged face to face? Not in a court, he hasn't. Can you imagine him in court? They'll decimate him. Yes. He'll end yes. up looking like a geet big <clears> lump of <throat> seagull shite on the floor. He will. Yes. Because they'll pull in every last <coughs> argument he's got the bits and show why he's a lying charlatan. Fabulous. Fabulous. And there's been more good news this week as well. Right. I know you haven't seen it, some people have, but in the Lords this week they were talking about e-cigs. Yeah, you mentioned that. You no, know, they've yes. got a weird way of doing it down there. You you <coughs> you write your question down that you're gonna ask. And then they call your name out and you stand up and say, I would like to put the question in my name. Which is exactly uh, what Matt did. So Matt this, this hadn't been referred from the Commons? No, 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 no. Uh, this was this is a debate right. they've been having. <coughs> and Matt Ridley asked a question <coughs> of the Health Secretary, which basically said, are you going to promote ASIGs or what? Here's what happened. My Lords, we recognise that e-cigarettes are being used by some smokers to help them cut down or quit tobacco, which is why the government is already working towards a regulatory framework that ensures they meet basic quality standards and are accompanied by sufficient information to enable informed choices. However, we would not wish to see children taking up vaping, as nicotine is a highly addictive substance, which is why we're also introducing a minimum age of sale for these products. I thank my noble friend for that encouraging answer, but I wonder if I could lure him to go just a little bit further. Uh, given that two million people are vaping in this country, including a number of members of your Lordship's House, and that 99% uh, of them are smokers or ex-smokers, that the NHS says that vaping is 1,000 times safer than, than smoking and probably no more dangerous or addictive than coffee, uh, and would he therefore agree with me that it might be worth looking, asking the Chief Medical Officer to look into how we can encourage this technology, given that it has a chance to do what patches and bans and uh, uh, health warnings and taxes have uh, so failed to do over decades, and that is to consign at last the cigarette to the ashtray of history? Um. My Lords, e-cigarettes e are, are undoubtedly helpful to some people in enabling them to cut down on or, or quit smoking. The evidence is encouraging and we wouldn't want to stop smokers trying out e-cigarettes uh, as an alternative, particularly if uh, other remedies have, have failed. Equally, we do need to be cautious as regards the long-term health effects of using e-cigarettes, which is why currently the Chief Medical Officer is not able to recommend their use. My, my Lord, sir, I, I wonder if he agrees that the noble Viscount is perhaps guilty of, of a little bit of journalistic licence on this. My Lords, if one looks at the, if one, well, my Lords, if one actually looks at the Cochrane Review, uh, it produces undoubtedly encouraging results. 
but it cautions my lord. It has a big but in the title of the research. It cautions because only two studies uh, were reflected in the Cochrane Review, covering just over 600 smokers. And the Cochrane Review says, my lord, we should wait to see the outcome of further studies. Does the Noble Earl agree with that? And can he inform the House when we are likely to see the outcome of those further studies? Um, my Lord, the, the, the Noble Lord is, is correct. The Cochrane Review concluded that the quality of the evidence overall is low uh, because it's based only on, on a small number of, of studies. The National Institute for Health Research has recently commissioned a large randomised controlled trial to examine the efficacy of e-cigarettes compared with nicotine replacement therapy when used within the UK uh, stop smoking service. That project is due to end in 2018 and will certainly improve our current understanding. My Lord, does my noble friend the Minister agree that we need a public health education campaign to persuade people there are absolutely no health benefits whatsoever, nor indeed any merit in becoming addicted to nicotine, and that the promotion of devices such as e-cigarettes should really be purely for the purposes of encouraging people to be weaned off their addiction to tobacco with nicotine, as tobacco is still killing nearly 300 people every day in this country. My noble friend is absolutely right, and I hope that message will come through loud and clear from the measures that the government is taking to ban smoking in private cars when children are present, to um, introduce standardised tobacco packaging, and uh, the uh, prohibition of proxy purchasing of tobacco. My Lord, is, my the minister, is the noble Earl the Minister satisfied <coughs> that e-cigarettes are tamper-proof and that what they contain can it be substituted by other more dangerous substances? Uh, the Noble Lord, Lord makes a, an extremely important point, and it is one that is addressed in the Tobacco Products Directive, uh, which is due to come into force uh, n uh, next year. Um, the uh, EU um, Commission are clear that um, any e-cigarettes sold um, need, need to be tamper-proof, particularly as regards uh, children interfering with the contents. Lords, it is, it is good to know that the National Institute of Health will support a larger randomised study. But it is true what Noble Lord, Lord Ridley said, that the current evidence of Cochrane analysis, which is the most robust method we know of analysing whether the product or a device or a drug is effective against the desired outcome or not, does suggest that although the studies were small and 14 observational studies and two randomised trials does show that e-cigarettes are more effective than nicotine patches or placebo. Would the Noble Earl, the Minister, <coughs> agree that the industry should now also address that there is a standard dosage of nicotine and the quality of nicotine used in the e-cigarette is standardized by across the industry to avoid the risk of subsequent risks? Um, the, the Noble Lord uh, makes some important points, and I think uh, he has highlighted the fact that many products on sale um, are uh, of, uh, shall we say, variable uh, quality. There, there are risks around the extent to which the dose of nicotine delivered varies. Uh, the quality of the ingredients can be suspect. There is a question mark over the electrical safety of some products. So we, we cannot make a general statement about products that are currently on sale. Nevertheless, um, it is right that the uh, European Union have taken this matter in hand, and from May 2016, only licensed cigarettes, e uh, licensed e-cigarettes, will be able to contain nicotine in strengths greater than 20 milligrams per milliliter. So that will introduce some standardisation. My lords, I started smoking before I was a teenager, and in recent years, up to 50 cigarettes a day. Not good for me. But I started vaping in July, and I haven't had a puff of, a, of tobacco or wanted a puff of tobacco since. In spite of, in spite of trying to uh, give up on countless occasions, it's only this, these vaping e-cigarettes that have actually helped me kick the habit. So surely, my lords, that has to be a good thing. And shouldn't we encourage it to help not just me, but the hundreds of thousands or millions of people who want to give up smoking? I, may I congratulate my noble friend on uh, his, his achievement? Um, and certainly, as I, I, as I have indicated, 
the advice given by the NHS is that particularly where other remedies have failed, uh, e-cigarettes may have a place where the person wants to quit. Um, and it is true that uh, whilst um, the uh, levels of uh, toxicants uh, in electronic cigarette liquids and vapour uh, uh, are, are, very, uh, are, um, are present, uh, they are very, very much lower than those found in conventional cigarette smoke, and they are not considered to pose any significant passive inhalation risk. <laughs> hey, listen, they're much more gentlemanly, aren't they? <laughs> that last guy was very good. He was very good, <laughs> very, very good. 50 a day, don't own a cig. I mean, yes, somebody said in chat that we need to get him a decent bit of kit. I think you're right. <laughs> but you look, the thing is, this is this is good. It, what came out of that, and that was that was the minister. And I'm sorry, I don't know any other names, barring one that's from up here, and I'm not going to mention him because he was a right twat. Was, uh, it, was it Andrew Cunningham? Yeah, Cunningham. That's him. He's Lord Lord Felling. <laughs> Earl Felling or something Earl, like once Felling. Anyway, I look. Bottom bottom line on is as far as I can see, they're actually talking about this now. And did you hear when that Lord said? He hadn't had a fag since June. Yeah. And not a puff of a cigarette. And they're all going, yes, boy! <laughs> Great stuff, right? <laughs> um, nearly. And yet, like lots of support. We need more people like that getting there. And I say, yes, our Prune, and Richard Prune, he said, yes, we need to go and talk to them. That's what the APPG on e cigs is all about. And that exists purely and simply so that we can go and talk to them. And we'll be invited down. Vapors are involved in all of that. I've already been down uh, before Crimble. So was that on television today? No, it was yesterday, I think it was. Right. Or well, it might have been, what day is it today, Thursday? It might have been Tuesday. Um, so, yeah, that, that was, that was, that's happened. And it's going to keep on happening, and it'll happen in the Commons as well. Yes, and it'll and be that, a different that, situation, probably. Well, that that with the news that Parliament has now got this ruling that you can vape in Parliament, in 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 specific places, every office, um, and in the Strangers Bar and all over the place. And this is bits of what could have been bad news. Undoubtedly, I think you're excellent news. It's fantabulous. What I'm I'm so chuffed about all of that. I really am. I hadn't realised that, that, uh, you know, outside of the two houses themselves, you can obviously vape. In, uh, in Port Cullis House, Port Cullis House, you can go to Port Cullis House, which is where we went to the APPG on health and wellbeing yes. and what have you. Um, and they've got a lovely big mm. atrium there, all covered in coffee bar, nice little, it's, it's gorgeous. And lovely place, it'd be like sitting on the sidewalk in Venice or somewhere like that. It's kind of that atmosphere. And, you know, get your, get your AC out and uh, give it a bit of clouds. Mm. It's kind of good news, isn't it? It's good news. It's that right. was, yes. What, what, I, what ideas was, was I not supposed to have or was somebody not supposed to have an idea? I'm, I'm, no, I you don't need to know. I don't need to know, do I not? Oh. No, you don't need to know. I'll read chat later. Thank you for whatever ideas it is. Yes, you, you keep them coming because I'm just daft enough. You make the bullets, I'll fire them. <laughs> I'm good that way. Yes, Neil Robinson said, wait until the TPD kicks in and affects them themselves. Actually, this, this, is, this is the point I was making, and it's a point everybody needs to be aware of and we need to make every time we're talking about this. Everything you see on this table and along these shelves, in Keith's hand and in his top pocket, it's all gone. The TPD gets shot of the lot. It just does. There's no need to go messing about you heard tamper proof well what you're about to see in the next half isn't tamper proof not by any stretch of the imagination anything with replaceable coils or basically anything that you unscrew something to refill it's not tamper proof it's all gone absolutely all gone so you know what we've got to keep the pressure on and it looks as though the lords matt ridley at the helm and a few others are driving this and we've got exactly the same going on in the commons um 
with Mark Posey and one or two others also driving it in there so that's that's all good I'm, I'm slightly optimistic and optimistic as well about this study which I understand Lorian has more details on and when that's more firmed up I understand it's not properly firmed up yet but when it's more firmed up we'll be telling you about it and you can guarantee Louise Ross will be involved in that and I'm absolutely certain that the vape community will also be involved they'll need to refer to people that know what they're talking about and that's us isn't it yes it absolutely is right we better take some advertisement otherwise we ain't going to get to the end by 10 o'clock Right. What are you saying? Sorry, I just, uh, nothing in particular. Uh, well, God's, I'm not reading the whole thing out, says, agreed, it's heartening, but they really aren't up to speed. No, we know. That is why the all-party parliamentary group on ACIGS exists, and it exists so that we, as vapors, can go and inform them, and you're going to get all of the top top class academics going down and giving evidence to them as well and hopefully word will spread they'll get the right information because we'll make sure they get it given what's important is they're talking about it absolutely right absolutely right it's so important that they're talking about it and this is what we want more of there's going to be negative in there there's always going to be but it's good it's been talked there was about. no strong negativity there was there just from one guy who's anti-nicotine yeah, but it wasn't what I would have called sort of strong, passionate stuff. No, 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 I know. Somebody's teed him up to see it. Yeah, he's probably. Had his, he's had his little brown envelope lately, or, or his dinner at the Ritz, or whatever. Yeah. You know, well, what the hell. But, uh, you know, the, the arguments are there to go against all of that, so that's no problem at all. And, yes, uh, Lorian, Cerulean C, expect a Skype call. Not Probably not tonight, but maybe tonight and maybe not tomorrow. Right, shall we take some adverts? Yes. We'll take some adverts. When we come back, we'll have a choice. We can either do the booty DNA or booty. we can do the nano. Oh, I'll make my mind up when we get back. Adverts, we'll be back in a couple of minutes. Don't go anywhere. Or if you do, get one for me. I'm starting to get desperate. Safer6.co.uk Sponsors of The Haze Hour. Often imitated never duplicated award-winning service and products from cloud9vaping.co.uk vapors do you love discovering new e-liquids tell dripper the types of flavors you like and they'll send you five gourmet juices each month experience new and exclusive flavors all with a money-back guarantee and free delivery anywhere in europe dripper.co.uk UK purveyor of e-cigarettes and e-liquids. Proud sponsors of Vaping Entertainment on Vapertrails TV. UK sponsors of the Haze Hour. 
And we're back in the room. Welcome back to the Here's Hour with me, Dave Dawn, and my partner in crime, Keith. You all right? Yes, fine. He's top pocketed the microphone, so if there's been any problems with hissing and stuff like that, that hopefully will have fixed it. It's all it's radio technology and, and stuff like that. Technology is a wonderful thing, isn't it? It is. If you understood it, or if I understood it, as you just said. <laughs> yeah. it's, it kind of is what it is. Right, world first. Right. Shot in 4K Ultra HD. This next piece of video is. Um, a while ago, anybody that's on Twitter and follows me might have seen that one of the Chinese companies got in touch and said they were launching a DNA 40. And I thought, oh yeah, eyebrow went up, as it does. Um, they're launching a DNA 40, so I asked the question, is it proper Evolve one? They said, no, it's a chip of our own design. Would you like to have a look at one? Naturally, me being me, I said, go on then, why not? Now, I'm here to tell you that the first one that landed was, what's the word I'm looking for? Not good. Um, there were some issues. I reported back and said, oi, it's crap. And they said, why? So I told them. And they said, right, we're going to sort the second one out. We'll not release the first one. That was something. But they didn't release the first one. They released the second one and they sent the one out to me. And I had a look at it. Um, it is very much a first look. You won't see this in 4K on the live stream. It'll only be at 1080p. But at 10 o'clock, this video will be released in 4K for those of you that have that. Sit back, relax, enjoy. This is the uh, AB box from Smoker. And so here it is. This is the Anna box. If you look at it, you'll see the form factor is quite recognisable. It's very, very much in the Hanna style. Um, so let's see what it's got, how it works, have a look inside. Across the top here you will see the fire button, up and down, and the display, as you would expect, is here. Now then, let's hit the display first, and you will notice, as soon as I press the button, that it says, hello smoker, there's no Evolve logo on there, so it's a cloning form factor um, And you'll also see that the display looks very very familiar as in the original um, Evolve DNA 40 style um, Build quality I think is probably the next place to go as I say the 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 way it's put together is very simple You've got your USB charge port there display fire up and down so let's get into the back of it and see what is there it comes with one of these little blue handle screwdrivers so let's use what it comes with it doesn't come with a battery and you have to put your own in so let's undo the screws and lift off the lid as one does and I've put in a, an AWT battery into this let's take it out so that you can see more accurately what's going on and if we tip it up you will see that everything's colour coded and very well marked up so red is obviously where your positive is going to go and black is where the negative needs to go so positive at this end the top where you would expect it negative at that end which has just reminded me this is the 510 connector as you'll be able to see slightly recessed but not still unfortunately movable it, uh, it is what it is now you'll see that there's a, a warranty void seal on there I am going to take not a blind but a notice of that and I'm going to have that off because I want you to see what's going on under the hood as it were so that's going to require that we take the warranty seal out of action and lever this plastic piece out which it actually does lever out quite easily along the base of this is that there's all these little bits sticking down and if you look internally you can see that the bits that stick down match up with where the little buttons are, the firing up and down buttons. 
that makes sure that they stay in place a bit better but if you look at what's going on there that's really quite tidy um, I would have liked to have seen heat shrink on these legs which isn't there um, the charge port as you probably see has a piece of double sided sticky tape and it's not all that well held in as you can see it's it's moving now um, let's get that back into position because that needs to be where it needs to be and of course when this goes back on when this lid goes back on uh, that holds everything into the place where it's meant to be that's why it's there and that I think is probably a good addition uh, it's going to stop things from sliding about where they don't need to be sliding about and eclipsing quite firmly and you can see then straight away that it's put the USB socket where it needs to be so let's put a battery in it in this case it's an AWT IMR as you'll be able to see um, not supplied as I say so we'll put that in place the right way up and no I'm not going to take a chance on putting it in the wrong way up I'm pretty sure that that protection does not exist and we'll stick the lid back on and screw it down with the screwdriver so that it's ready to go right now I'm going to take this which is a sub tank which is sat on a proper evolved DNA 40 I'll turn it the right way up so that you can see what's going on and you can see that I've got this set at 18.9 400 degrees Fahrenheit and it's a 0 0.21 ohm coil that is in there and uh, if you're not sure it's a, it's a recoiled OCC coil so we'll take that off and I'm going to keep that in view while I bring in the AB box 0 0.21 ohms remember was what that was set at and we'll uh, replicate the rest of the settings when we get there so they are still in view and it's going on to the AB box now So there it is and let's press the button and see what comes up hello smoker and you can see new coil up which it is so let's press up and let's make sure I've got the settings the same 18.9 come back down very very quick to scroll is this 18.9 now you will see that I have it set to 460 and it is showing 0.21 so let's try it out and see exactly what it will do so here we are then with the the box itself the AB box let's give it a blast and see how it works So far that's doing exactly what I would expect of it. Producing voluminous quantities of vapour. Um, I suppose I really ought to knock it back down to the 450 volts, uh, 450 degrees Fahrenheit that the other one was set at. To do that, it's five clicks of the fire button and then you will see it says locked click fire and if we hold both of the buttons down it allows you to set the temperature and I'm going to set that down to 450 so it's the down button that takes it to 450 and you press the fire button and that's it set and then five clicks and you're back in normal mode ready to be used And again, very, very pleasant. I 
and voluminous quantities of vapour from this particular setup, the 18.9 watt single coil in an OCC 0.21 ohms. Gotta be honest, I'm probably gonna get uh, too far of a nick hit. Complete inability to blow smoke rings, vapor rings, rings of any description. Um, I was in two minds about this particular device earlier on in the week when it arrived because with a self-wound coil that was closer to 0.34 ohms I couldn't get it to work reliably yet with this 0.21 it's working really well now one of the original problems with the first version was when you press the button after it had gone into standby mode as it has now it wouldn't come back straight into usable mode but now that's been fixed single press of the button and it is usable and it's working straight away as you would expect, which is a good thing. There'll be more on this in the live show as I hand it back across to myself and Keith in the studio, but up until then, this seems okay, certainly for the price. Um, the fire button is relatively comfortable. I'd prefer a bigger one. The up and down buttons work the way they are supposed to work, and certainly in nickel coil mode in an OCC in the sub tank it's doing the job it's supposed to do which is quite nice the likelihood is that we <coughs> will overrun tonight we need to drop straight into the adverts <coughs> just to bring you up a little bit to date on it um, I'm not finding any problems with it uh, however, however, looking at the um, the board, it's not a direct copy of a DNA 40. I am absolutely certain that Evolve, uh, Brandon and John, will be looking at it with a view to sorting out whether or not they're going to make any uh, legal challenges to it. They may well decide so to do. I fully, I've got no idea what the retail price is going to be, but I expect it to be quite cheap. Um, I would expect it to be sub-100, very sub-100. I would hope it would be very sub-100. In terms of something to find out whether you're going to like DNA 40s, it's maybe not a bad idea to go to as a first step. I don't know. I, 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 I'm uneasy, I have to say, uh, that it is a clone of the DNA 40. But I do know that there's going to be more and more temperature-controlled um, devices coming out. Uh, over time you know it, it's been bound to happen and, and to be honest it's something that I think we probably need to welcome but there you go that was it. it it was the first of the clones and it was my first blast at 4k video that'll be released at 10 o'clock that's kind of going to be a world first better take some adverts and then oh yes there was a question and I've forgotten what it was and I can't scroll Celsius ah yes does it do Celsius no it doesn't it just doesn't do Celsius. The new boards, the new DNA boards, do do Celsius. And if you haven't seen how that works, I happen to have close up cam working. Here is uh, my Vapor Shark, and if I pop it on and turn it the right way around, you'll be able to see what's going on. And uh, I can put it into right. It's locked. Put it into hold to change temp. And as I go down. You'll see it drops at 200, it drops into Celsius. You can see it there, clear as day. So you can set it to where you want. Um, and I'm gonna go for 225 Celsius. Press the button, that's it. This is the proper job. Five clicks to get it back into firing mode. And then, off you go. So that's the vapor shark that does Celsius. If we go back to close you up, we can and pull the AB box in, give it its five clicks, and hold both buttons down again. 
quarter change temp and if I scroll that down quarter change temp thank you scroll that down to 200 so you can see dump 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 da 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 that's it it just stays there so it's Fahrenheit only um, and I'll bring that back up to where I wanted it a while we go to the adverts we will be back in a couple of minutes do you like the look of that? Yeah, yeah. It's not It's not yeah. comfortable in the hand. It needs a bigger button. I was just going to say that. It's not comfortable. Um, like all the HANA boxes with those small buttons, they're just not comfortable. It, it's too angular. I like something rounded. I hesitate to say the word Solara, but I did. I like the rounded, and I, and I like the Vapor Shark. The Vapor Shark is small enough that it doesn't dig in, whereas the, uh, the, the HANA box and the ANA box and the clones of it are just a little bit too big, and I've got fairly big hands. I could never, ever get a job in gear porn. It would never happen. We'll take the adverts back in a couple of minutes, and then we'll look. <laughs> well, I couldn't. And we'll have a look. Well, I could. No, I. Right, yes. Back in a couple of minutes. Safer6.co.uk sponsors of the Haze Out. Sponsors of Vapor Trails. UK sponsors of the Haze Out. Here we go. Yes, we're back in the room. We're back in the room. Um, Logan said, "Does the Anna chip also have the serial in software like the DNA 40?" No, doesn't. I'm pretty sure it doesn't. And I've just been reliably informed by somebody in chat. Who was it, Sav? It was Rob's in chat. All ah, right, that uh, it's been released on on slow. You know the Chinese site and the pricing that they've got on it here is $61 I think $61.77 so there you go um, I make no recommendations it's entirely up to you all I can say is this one does appear to be working as you would expect it to let's shall we move on yes sorry, I was just sorry. yeah um, <clears throat> yes now the thing is 
just during the course of the break, Keith was holding up the uh, Ecom Supreme that he's been using for a couple of weeks now. And what were you seeing? No sign of leakage. Simple to operate. Very nice. You like it? I do. There you yes. go. You heard it. You heard it here umpty dozen times. Right, we must blast on, otherwise we're definitely going to be way over time and way too late. Um, at half past one yesterday morning, I had a brainwave and decided I was going to look at the uh, the sub tank nano, which is actually quite different from the sub tank and the sub tank mini. And 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 more at the point, it sits on top of an i stick thirty perfectly. So this too was filmed in 4K and will be released at 10 o'clock. I'm, I'm just a little bit proud of that, I am, because the quality in 4K is stunning. Here it is in 1080p at 30 frames a second. Enjoy. Well, hello. Um, I'm going to take a quick look at the Kanga Sub Tank Nano. That would be this little beastie here. This here is a Kanga Sub Tank Nano. Let's get it out of the box and then we can see what we're looking at um, outside of that black sleeve you can actually see what it is it's a real one as you'll be able to see from that little lot on there all of the proper information and it says that this kit contains a sub tank nano an OCC sub ohm 0 0.5 ohm to be used in the range 15 to 30 watts and an OCC 1.2 ohm to be used in the range 12 to 25 watts a Pyrex glass tube and the manual. It says the sub tank mini is installed with the organic cotton coil head uh, which makes use of organic cotton as a wick which is much healthy and environmental. So this is the real I am uh, completely totally and utterly Chinese as you can tell by all that writing that's on there it's not translated very well. So what do you get in the box? Let's have a look and see what we shall see and here it is put that out of the way so the sub tank nano itself the spare coil the spare pyrex glass which i have difficulty in getting out because it's really tight come out there you are and some spare red o-rings to go with it as you'll be able to see quite nicely there so let's uh, Drop that back in because I ain't about to smash it at the minute and let's pull the nano out itself and see what we can say about it and put that out of the way as well. So here it is the nano. Um, construction is fairly familiar if you are used at all to seeing these Kanga sub tanks. Um, let's screw the bottom off and the construction then becomes quite clear to see with the exception that you've got a completely clear tank down here and this one appears to have a scratch in it which I've only just noticed I don't know whether it goes all the way through so let's take that off unscrew this so you can see how that happens and as you'll see the thread is inside and you've got this threaded part here Let's go really close up and then we can really see what's happening. So this is the threaded part, this is the base of it. And here is the tank and you can see if I just take this out, I want to check whether it is in fact cracked. And there is a mark which you probably won't be able to see just down here, but it's not going through onto the inside. I can't feel it, so it will do. So there, right in the middle you'll see that's where it plocks onto and these little rings are sculpted so that your glass fits onto it quite nicely and then the two simply screw together again which holds your tank in place that makes for quick and easy tank changement I rather like the way that works and it's good and solid and because of the way the threads are it's going to be a little bit difficult to over tighten that and smash the glass but if it can be done I'm sure I'll find a way here's the standard OCC coil you can see the coil wound in there this is um, 0 0.5 I think yeah 
it's the 0 0.5 ohm as you'll be able to see there and again as with all of the OCCs on all of the sub tanks it just screws in and because of the way it's pulled it put together it's very very easy to re-wick and um, there's already video of that but I'll do another one in super high resolution so you can see what's going on and that then screws into the base unit as you might expect it needs to be screwed fairly firmly down and then on the base unit you have the air control as you can see here if I just rotate this round so you've got that lovely big slot there right open so you can get as much air in as you want that way and then smaller holes so there's a two hole setting with a detent as you can see the two holes there and ooh, a little further on at the other detent there's a one hole setting there and then for travel purposes you can close it off altogether. now I've yet to go onto an aeroplane with one of these but that setting there should hopefully stop any leakage so let's um, stick a little bit of juice in there and uh, clag it onto a device and see how it works in ordinary mode so filling one of these is as you might expect fairly simple it's top well bottom fill and you just fill it until it's level with where you're going to screw the whole thing in you can go slightly over if you want they do suggest and I would agree with this that you put a few drops of liquid on the coil to uh, give it a head start as it were I like to put six on because there's quite a wealth of cotton in there and it actually doesn't matter if a little bit goes through and then screw it in and that's it done completed sorted out and ready to go um, I'm just going to give it a couple of minutes you'll see there's little bubbles forming just here and it's going up that means we're getting some juice through into the wicks and uh, yeah the wicks have actually gone behind these little metal parts here but that's it and the drip tip is of course removable as you would expect um, so yes let's just give it a couple more seconds to get that through and while we're doing that I shall screw it onto a 40 watt DNA 40 equipped 3D printed machine and when we switch it on the right way around it already was when we switch it on you will see that it's reporting 0 0.57 ohms all right and it'll be in voltage mode I would think that's interesting yeah it's not obviously going to read correctly so what I'm going to do there is put it into the right mode hold the two buttons down come on and take it out of temperature mode change to all temperature and then use the up button just to take it up to 600 watts and that's it temperature mode is now off press the button five times and we're back in ordinary mode um, it is as well to take a couple of test drags just gently no air going in as you would expect so I'm going to open it all the way up as you can see and let's uh, give it a blast and see how it goes this is in non-DNA 40 mode and it's at 18.9 watts which you can see there let's take it up one so straight on to 19 watts let's have another blast
People might well be wondering what juice is this. It's my own mix. It's the standard stuff that I use. It's uh, as close to 100% glycerin as I can get. And that appears to be working rather pleasantly. Now, let's have a look at the back of the box where it says that the 0 0.5 is to be used in the range of 15 to 30 watts. That's what it says on there. I don't know whether you'll be able to make it out. Is it going to focus? Focus, you swine. There you go. 15 to 30 watts for the 0 0.5. So I suppose the thing to do is to rack this up to 30 watts and see what it does. Keep going. 28, 29.1, 30 watts as ever was. So let's give it a blast. Um, yeah, that is blitzing it out. And I'm here to tell you that that, <laughs> that's around about 18 to 20 milligram of nicotine in there. <laughs> and you can feel it. Airflow on the beast is brilliant wide open. Let me knock it down again and this time go to the single hole setting. You can hear it click in and uh, let's see how that pans out shall we. I think I probably could I probably could manage to get away with a normal mouth, in, mouth inhale on that, but I can also lug it quite nicely. And as you can see, it's producing really rather nicely. This little beastie, I think, it's probably going to get clagged onto this little beast, which is an A-Leaf stick, 30 watts as you can see and uh, yeah let's see how it works on there shall we because I reckon that could make rather a nice little combination we'll put the uh, the DNA out of the way as one does and screw it onto the eye stick since the eye stick only goes up as far as 30 watts switch it on it's at 21 watts at the moment. You'll forgive me. There you are, 21 watts. I'm making connection. You'll forgive me if I don't take it up to 30. Let's give it a blast. That. Is very acceptable. I'll open it right up again. So we're up on full airflow again, as you can see, and let's give it a chuck. That's banging it out. So there you have it. The Subtank Nano from Kangatech, um, available widely all over the place comes with two coils as i said the occ coils um its capacity is not massive it's going to take a couple or three mils that's about it that could well get a lot of people through half a day i think uh, i'll put it into use and i'll tell you in the studio what it's really like on Thursday using it in anger but that little beast is going to get carried around as uh, as a piece of kit goes that's not a bad size unfortunately shirt pocketable as well 
Oh dear, how sad. Never mind. Back to the studio. And back to the studio yeah. we come. It's slightly vapor filled studio because Keith was playing with it, but he's already got something in his top pocket, so we're saying. Now, questions being a number of questions asked during the course of that, so I shall do my best to answer them if I can. Wadding, there is no wadding around the, the coil. Uh, you've got cotton going through the centre of the coil in an OCC. They are a piece of cake to recoil. Very, very simple. Um, size wise, between the E leaf eye sticks. Uh, 20 and 30 I'm being nodded at by Sav who says yes we need to cover that let's go to close you we come and there they are side by side a leaf I stick 20 a leaf I stick 30 you can see look side by side brothers from another mother same height the major difference apart aside from the uh, the difference in the wattage available is that the uh, the 30 has this little lippy affair around it and that's how you differentiate between the two because otherwise they look pretty much identical yeah there's nothing to choose between them <clears throat> like twins separated at birth one blue and one silver uh if people want me to i'll have a look at the at the uh, the eye stick 30 in more depth at some point but quite honestly it's a 30 watt eye stick um it works just as well in fact it works identically it just goes higher it goes to 30 instead of 20 that's really all you need to say about that isn't it so the one that went to 20 would suit me better wouldn't it um well given that you you rarely go beyond 13 14 yes. yeah the 20 would be fine for you yeah um i just like a little bit of headroom and there's a 50 coming out and i shall have a look at one of those as well that's bigger right. than uh, but they've got the same battery construction and all of that kind of stuff it's all good um what more to say about the Nano? I like it. I've been using it a lot on this little eye stick and it does the job. It does the job it's meant to do. Um, obviously, you've got to fill it a little bit more often, but in non-DNA mode on an ordinary piece of kit, it's nice. Those of you that don't like the red rubbers, I'm sure there'll be other colours of rubbers coming out. Yeah. Almost bound to be. I mean... Every market that uses rubber ends up with all kinds of different colours. So I mean, they're, they're both comfortable to hold, aren't they? Yes. And discreet. Yes, yes. I, I, I do rather like that as a, as a little combination. That goes with me everywhere. Yeah. Um, it's a lot more comfortable than a certain other blue box I was using earlier on. And and I'm seeing more in you know, our Skype chat. She's sitting going, I ended up, Dave. Time to finish, son. So yeah. it is. Yes, and Derek, look, Neil Ruff says, Keith's after, do you want the 20? <laughs> I couldn't comment. Do you want a 20? Oh, do you do I want a 20? Hang on, another 20. Hang on. Well, that's, I'm gobsmacked at that. Uh, me top pockets full. Well, tough. It's there you uh, go. Keith walks away with a 20. So you've got uh, something charged up for when you're uh, supreme. Decides to I've swap well, I've just noticed it's about to go. So there you yeah. are, you see, you can swap over and, you, and the wattage will be identical on the pair of them. But you, I'll oh, tell you what, brilliant. you, you do you. 10 minutes next week on comparing the two. Oh, right, Owen. There yes, you are. Right. Would everybody like that? Right. 10 minutes yes. from Keith next week comparing the two. That'll be that man there. Look, him. Him. Keith. Comparing the two next week. The curve. Right. Yes. Good. Curve. Or a leaf eye stick. If there's any difference, they're both alike. Six and two threes, as they say. There you go. Um, that that has been the here's hour this week. By now, That's if you like, pass very quickly. It does. It goes shooting by. Log on to our YouTube channel, which is at slash Vapor Trails TV, isn't it, Sav? Like that, yeah. yeah, log on to our YouTube channel and you will find the 4K videos there. If you, and they're, they're there in 4K, um, 14, oh, what is it, 2.5K and, and 1080 and all of the others at, at, at massively stupid frame rates and all sorts of stuff like that. Enjoy. If you like it, we'll keep doing it. Um, well, I'm going to keep doing it anyway because I like the camera. Um, that's it. That's all we've got time for for tonight, isn't it? It is, I'm afraid. It's yes. been, as per usual, it's been a great pleasure to share the, the last hour and a bit with you. I'm going to get so wrong, but never mind. Um, until we see you next time, 
And don't forget to tune in at 9 o'clock on Sunday night for Dave's Tackle Box and straight after every show we do and every night of the week at 10 o'clock for RY4 Radio, the link for which we'll be going into chat. But until we see you next time from all of us here, from Sav, Keith and myself, Vapor! <laughs> they pod and, and don't, don't let, let the bastards, bastards grind, grind you down. down take care of each other and let's hope for good outcomes in the court cases in parliament right. see you next time take good care bye bye right. Sponsors of The Haze Hour.